The Neanderthal man, according to the mainstream secular science, um, is the most recently or was the most recently lived um, relative of the modern humans uh, and was already facially and in body build quite similar to the modern humans, although uh, clearly shorter than the tallest um, ethnic groups of the modern humans, something like five feet, six inches tall, uh, more robust and had, interestingly enough, bigger brains than we do. According to the mainstream secular science, uh, Neanderthals lived in Europe and Asia from about 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. Currently, the earliest fossils of Neanderthals in Europe are dated between 450 and 430,000 years ago, and thereafter Neanderthals expanded into uh, southwest and central Asia. They are known from numerous fossils, uh, as well as stone tool assemblages, which are almost all younger than 160, uh, which uh, um, assemblages younger, almost all of them that are younger than 160,000 years, are of the so-called uh, Mausterian techno complex, which is characterized by tools made out of stone flakes. The type specimen is Neanderthal 1, found in Neander Valley or Neander Tal in the German Rhineland, so in Western Germany, um, in 1856. Compared to modern humans, Neanderthals were stockier with shorter legs and bigger bodies. In conformance with Bergman's rule, as well as Allen's rule, this was likely uh, an adaptation to preserve heat in cold climates. Male and females, uh, female Neanderthals had cranial or skull capacities averaging um, 1,600 cubic centimeters and 1,300 cubic centimeters respectively within the range of the values for anatomically modern humans. Average males were around 164 to 168 centimeters tall, so roughly five feet uh, four and a half inches to five feet six inches tall, and average females 152 to 156 centimeters, so roughly five feet to five and a half uh, feet tall. There has been growing evidence for admixture between Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans reflected in the genomes of all modern non-African populations, but not in the genomes of most sub-Saharan Africans, which suggests that interbreeding between Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans occurred after the recent out-of-Africa migration, according to the mainstream science, around 70,000 years ago. Recent admixture analyses have added to the complexity, finding that Eastern Neanderthals derived up to 2% of their ancestry from anatomically modern humans who left Africa some 100,000 years ago. Both Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans were initially thought to have evolved from Homo erectus between 300,000 and 200,000 years ago. Homo heidelbergensis dated 600,000 to 300,000 years ago has long been thought to be a likely candidate for the last common ancestor of the Neanderthal and modern human lineages. However, genetic evidence from the Cima de los Huesos fossils published in 2016 seems to suggest that Homo heidelbergensis in its entirety should be included in the Neanderthal lineage as pre-Neanderthal or early Neanderthal. The taxonomic distinctions between Homo heidelbergensis and Neanderthals is mostly due to a fossil gap in Europe between 300,000 and 243,000 years ago. Neanderthals by conventions <clears throat> are fossils which date to after this gap. The quality of the fossil record greatly increases from 130,000 years ago onwards. Specimens younger than this date 
make up the bulk of known Neanderthal skeletons and were the first whose Italian anatomy was com comprehensively studied. In morphological studies, the term classic Neanderthal may be used in a narrower sense for Neanderthals younger than 71,000 years old. Neanderthals lived alongside humans until their extinction between 40 and 30,000 years ago and share a common ancestor which could, once again, what I'm reading in the Wikipedia is in accordance with the mainstream secular science, which does not regard the Bible's creation account as anything but basically uh, a poetic or mythic account, or at most a legendary account of uh, the world's creation. And then those, especially those who favor strict um, young earth creationism, uh, these are simply out like uh, exaggerated dates because uh, the strict uh, proponents of uh, young earth creationism believe that God created the world in six days as we count time some 6,000 years ago or at most 10,000 years ago with no evolution. Then those who uh, believe in the so-called old earth creationism Currently, I am somewhere between the strict young earth creationism and old earth creationism because I believe that probably God took, as we count time, thousands of years, whether single thousands, tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of years in the entire uh, creation process. To complete the entire creation process. Uh, old Earth creationists believe that the creation process probably took at least millions of years and possibly up to uh, billions. And uh, this view is to some extent um, parallel with the um, gap theory according to which God started the creation process a long time ago. Then there was some uh, event that interrupted it. Uh, some Bible teachers and students who believe in this view uh, hold on to the theory according to which between the start of the creation process and then the creation events, other stages, Lucifer, a mighty cherub prince, rebelled against God and then uh, he and other rebellious angels were cast out of heaven. And Lucifer, of course, became uh, known as uh, Satan or the devil. And then those who believe in the so-called theistic evolution theory uh, believe that um, believe basically the same as does the modern secular mainstream science as far as the uh, estimated or guest age of the universe is concerned, and as far as the estimated or guest age of the um, earth is concerned. In other words, over 13 billion years and over 4 billion years, respectively. However, they believe that it was God, not some impersonal uh, natural forces, such as survival of the fittest or, um, or um, natural selection, who planned and implemented this process. And they too believe that uh, the humans were created last, Adam and Eve, and they probably would accept uh, the, the estimate of uh, the young earth creationists uh, as to the uh, dating of uh, the first humans some 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. At least some of them would accept. And then there are those uh, academically educated Christians in my distant native land, uh, Finland in Northern Europe, for example, retired professor of, uh, I think, biochemistry or something like that. Mr. Matti Leisola. Yes. Yes. Uh, the retired or emeritus professor of bioprocess technology uh, at the 
Helsinki University of Technology, which actually is located in Espoo, Helsinki's western neighbor and Finland's second largest city, and is now a, a part of the so-called Aalto University. <coughs> he holds on to the intelligent design theory. He openly admits that he does not know how old or young the uh, world is, or how old or young the Earth is, he emphasizes the fact that we cannot know for certain. However, we can know who designed uh, the Earth and the universe, meaning God. But let's get back to this video. <clears throat> Neanderthals. Uh, had varied diets depending on their environments. Neanderthal remains recovered from Spy Cave, Belgium, and examined uh, using dental calculus, which indicated Neanderthals in this area had meat-based diet, including woolly, rhinoceros, and wild sheep. This is compared to Neanderthal remains found in Spain. In El Cidron Cave, Spain, they examined remains indicating a large amount of plant material, such as nuts and moss, as well as mushrooms. Researchers determined that the difference in diets contributed to the Neanderthal microbiota and meat-based diet caused the most variation. According to fecal biomarkers, so uh, of the human solid waste, Neanderthals were able to convert cholesterol to coprostanol at a high rate, uh, much like modern humans, because of the bacteria present in their gut. Early Neanderthals. Uh, are poorly known and come no, mostly from European sites, but then they gradually expanded uh, through Western, Central, Eastern, and Mediterranean Europe, as well as Southwest, Central, and Northern Asia up to the Altai Mountains in Siberia. No Neanderthals have ever been found outside Central to Western Eurasia, uh, namely neither to the south of 30th parallel, Shukba, uh, Levant, or east of the 85th uh, eastern uh, latitude, or longitude rather, Denisova, Siberia. The limit of their northern range appears to have been south of 53rd uh, parallel, northern, uh, in Bontnewid, Wales, although it is difficult to assess because glacial advances destroy most human remains the Bontnewid tooth being, being exceptional. Middle Paleolithic artifacts have been found up to 60 degrees um, northern parallel on the Russian plains. Total effective Neanderthal population size has been estimated at close to 15,000 individuals, corresponding to a total population of roughly 150,000 individuals living in small isolated inbred groups. Okay. Samples of 26 specimens found an average weight of, uh, like the height estimates we already had, 152 to 156 uh, centimeters for females and 164 to 168 centimeters for males. And samples of 26 uh, specimens found an average weight of 77.6 kilograms or 171 pounds for males. Uh, the heights, I already said, uh, would correspond on the imperial scale roughly to uh, between five feet and five and a half, five feet, one and, uh, one and a half inches and for females and roughly uh, five feet, four and a half inches to five feet, six inches for males. So relatively short, but uh, stocky because on average, they were overweight. Uh, if these uh, 26 uh, specimens are roughly the same as uh, the specimens uh, based on whom uh, we estimate their average height, because on average they weighed, uh, the females weighed 66.4 kilograms or 146 pounds, while the males on average weighed 77.6 kilograms or 171 pounds 
So this would mean uh, that the average uh, body mass index for females would range from twenty eight point seven to twenty seven point three, so slightly overweight. And then for males, from 28.9 to 27.5. Then again, nowadays, especially in North America and in several European countries, including uh, Western, Central and Northern, and even Eastern European countries, and in Australia and New Zealand, uh, quite many adult humans are clearly overweight. Here in the third world countries, such as the Philippines, obesity is not as common because people are on average clearly poorer financially and have clearly uh, <clears throat> less to eat than in the rich Western countries. Three-dimensional reconstructions of nasal cavities and computational fluid dynamics techniques um, have found that Neanderthals and modern humans both adapted their noses independently and in a convergent way to help breathe in cold and dry conditions. The overall shorter limbs and in general more stout body proportions of Neanderthals may have been an adaptation to colder climates. In comparison to modern humans, Neanderthals were more suited for sprinting and pouncing activities rather than endurance running, which would have been adaptive in the forests and woodlands that seem to have been their preferred environment. Neanderthals made stone tools, used fire and were hunters. It has long been or had long been debated whether Neanderthals were hunters or scavengers, but the discovery of the pre-Neanderthal Schöningen wooden spears in Germany helped settle the debate in favor of hunting. Um, they appear to have occasionally used vegetables as fallback food, revealed by isotope analysis of their teeth and study of their coprolites or fossilized feces, uh, feces being the fine term for uh, solid human waste. Most available evidence suggests that they were apex predators and fed on red deer, reindeer, ibex, wild boar, or rocks, and on occasion mammoth, straight tusked elephant, and rhinoceros. Um, the bones of the El Cidron group show signs of defleshing, suggesting that they were victims of cannibalism. Neanderthals suffered a high rate of traumatic injury with uh, some, with by some estimates 79% or over three quarters of specimens showing evidence of healed major trauma. Claims that Neanderthals deliberately buried their dead, and if they did, whether such burials had any symbolic meaning, are heavily contested. The debate on deliberate Neanderthal burials has been active since the 1908 discovery of the well-preserved Chapelle or Saint, one skeleton in a small hole in a cave in southwestern France. In this controversy's most recent installment, a team of French researchers investigated the Chapelle or Saint cave and in January 2014 reasserted the century-old claim that the two, 1908 Neanderthal specimen had been deliberately buried, and this has in turn been heavily criticized. According to archaeologist John F. Uh, Hofecker, Neanderthal sites show no evidence of tools for making tailored clothing. There are only hide scrapers, which might have been used to make blankets or ponchos. <clears throat> this is in contrast to Upper Paleolithic or modern human sites, 
which have an abundance of eye bone um, needles and bone awls. Moreover, microwear analysis of Neanderthal hide uh, scrapers shows that they were used only for the initial phases of hide preparation <clears throat> and not for the more advanced phases of clothing production. Uh, and this is an excerpt from archaeologist Hofeker's book, The Spread of Modern Humans in Europe. <clears throat> Whether Neanderthals created art and used adornments, such as jewels, which would indicate a capability for complex symbolic thought remains unresolved. A large number of other claims, so claims other than the association of the Chatel Peronian beads with Neanderthals. Uh, in 2010, a paper was published on radiocarbon dates, casting doubt on them, and Paul Mellors considered the evidence for symbolic behavior to have been <coughs> refuted. This conclusion, however, is controversial on others such as Jean-Jacques Hublin and colleagues have redated material associated with the Chatel per Peronian artifacts <coughs> and used prote proteomic evidence to restate the challenged association with Neanderthals. <coughs> so a large number of other claims of Neanderthal art, adornment and structures have been made which are often taken by the media showing Neanderthals were capable of symbolic thought or were mental equals to anatomically modern humans. As evidence of symbolism, none of them are widely accepted, although the same is true for middle paleolithic anatomically modern humans. <laughs> Among many others, flower pollen on the body of pre-Neanderthal Shanidar IV, Iraq, had in 1975 been argued to be a flower burial. Once popular, this theory is no longer accepted. Bird bones were argued to show evidence for feather plucking in a 2012 study examining 1,699 ancient sites across Eurasia, which the authors controversially took to mean Neanderthals wore bird feathers as personal adornments. <laughs> Deep scratches were found in 2012 on a cave floor underlying Neanderthal layer in Gorham's cave, G Gibraltar, which some have controversially interpreted as art. 276,000 year old uh, stalagmite ring structures, several meters wide, were reported in 2016, more than 300 meters from the entrance uh, within the Bruniquel cave in France. The authors claim artificial lighting would have been required as this part of the cave is beyond the reach of daylight <clears throat> and that the structures had been made by early Neanderthals, the only humans in Europe at this time. In 2015, a study argued <clears throat> that a number of 130,000-year-old <clears throat> eagle talons uh, found in a cachet near Krapina in Croatia, southeastern Europe, the Balkan Peninsula, along with Neanderthal bones, had been modified to be used as jewelry. <clears throat> All of these appeared only in single locations. Yet in 2018, using uranium thorium dating methods, red painted symbols comprising a uh, scalariform ladder shape, a negative hand stencil, <coughs> and red lines and dots on the cave walls of three Spanish caves, 700 kilometers or 430 miles apart, were dated to at least 64,000 years old. If the dating is correct, they were painted before the time anatomically modern humans are thought to have arrived to Europe. Paleoanthropologist John D. Hawkes argues these findings demonstrate Neanderthals were capable of symbolic behavior previously thought to be unique to modern humans. An alternative to extinction is that Neanderthals were absorbed into the Cro-Magnon population by interbreeding. <clears throat> this would uh, contradict strict versions of the recent African origin theory since it would imply that at least a part of the genome of Europeans would descend from Neanderthals. In 2010, geneticists announced that interbreeding had likely taken place, a result confirmed <clears throat> in 2012. The genomes of all non-Africans include portions that are of Neanderthal origin, a share estimated in 2014 to be between 1.5 and 2.1%. Ötzi, the Iceman, 
Europe's oldest preserved mummy, mummy whose age uh, is estimated to be now something like 5,300 years. In other words, he would have lived around uh, or between 3,300 and 3,400 years ago. Okay, according to his English language Wikipedia article, he lived between 3,400 and 3,100 uh, years before the common era or before the birth of Christ. So between uh, 5,100 and 5,400 years uh, ago. Um, was found to possess an even higher percentage of Neanderthal ancestry. The 2% of Neanderthal DNA in Europeans and Asians is not the same in all Europeans and Asians. In all, approximately 20,000 of the Neanderthal genome appears to survive in the modern human gene pool. Genomic studies suggest that modern humans mated with at least two groups of archaic humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans. An approximately 40,000-year-old anatomy of the modern human skeleton from Peștera cu Oase, uh, Romania, so in southeastern Europe, was found in 2015 to have a much larger proportion of DNA matching the Neanderthal genome than seen in humans <clears throat> of today. Sequencing of the genome of a Denisovan, a distinct but related archaic hominin from the Denisova cave in the Siberian Altai region, so <clears throat> Eastern Russia, has shown that 17% or about one-sixth of its genome represents Neanderthal DNA. According to a 2014 study by <clears throat> Thomas Hayem and uh, colleagues of organic samples from European sites, Neanderthals died out in Europe between 41,000 and 39,000 years ago. New dating in Iberia, however, where Neanderthal dates as late as 24,000 years ago had been reported before, now suggests evidence of Neanderthal survival in the peninsula after 42,000 years ago is almost non-existent. Anatomically modern humans arrived <clears throat> to Mediterranean Europe between 45,000 and 43,000 years ago, so the two different human populations shared Europe for several thousand years. <clears throat> About 55,000 years ago, the climate began to fluctuate wildly from extreme cold conditions to mild cold and back in a matter of decades. <clears throat> and raw material sourcing and the examination of faunal, meaning um, animal remains found in the southern Caucasus suggest that modern humans may have had a survival advantage, being able to use social networks to acquire resources from a greater area. In both the late Middle Paleolithic and early Upper Paleolithic, over 95% of stone artifacts were drawn from local materials, suggesting Neanderthals restricted themselves to more local sources. There are theories according to which there could have been um, absorption by modern humans, or there could have been a volcanic uh, catastrophe. See Campanian Ignimbrite eruption. To date, bones of over 400 Neanderthals have been found. The oldest one of them in 1829, a Neanderthal child's damaged skull in Engis, Netherlands, now Belgium. And then in 1848, a female Neanderthal skull, Gibraltar 1, was found in Forbes's quarry, Gibraltar, but its importance is not recognized. In 1856, limestone miners discovered the Neanderthal type specimen, Neanderthal 1, in Neandertal, Western Prussia, and now Germany. In 1864, William King was the first to recognize Neanderthal I as belonging to a separate species for which he gave the scientific name Homo neanderthalensis. 
In 1880, the mandible of a Neanderthal child was discovered in a secure context in Shipka Cave in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, now the Czech Republic. Associated with cultural debris, including hearths, uh, Mousterian tools or Mousterian tools and bones of extinct animals. In 1886, two well-preserved Neanderthal skeletons were found at Spee, Belgium, making the hypothesis that Neanderthal won was only a diseased modern human difficult to sustain. In 1899, between 12 and 70 individuals were found uh, to have fra left fragmentary remains on a hill in Krapina, now Croatia, then in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In 1908, a very well-preserved Neanderthal, La Chapelle aux Saint one was found in its epi eponymous site in France. In 1912, Marcelin Boul published his now discredited influential study of Neanderthal skeletal morphology based on La Chapelle au Saint. Between 1953 and 1957, 10 Neanderthal skeletons were excavated in Shanidar Cave, Iraqi Kurdistan, by Ralph Soletsky and colleagues. <coughs> In 1975, Eric Trinkhausi's study of Neanderthal feet strongly argued that Neanderthals walked like modern humans. <clears throat> in 1981, the site of Mont Newid, Wales, so in Britain, uh, yielded an early Neanderthal tooth, the most no northwestern Neanderthal remain ever. So they <clears throat> seem not to have settled in <clears throat> what are called uh, outside uh, Northern Europe, Scandinavia, or in Northern Europe, especially in those countries themselves as the Nordic countries, in other words, from west to east, Iceland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, and Finland, or the Baltic countries, Estonia, <coughs> Latvia, and Lithuania. Um, in 1987, Israeli Neanderthal Kebara II was dated to 60,000 years before present. <clears throat> in 1997, Matthias Krings et al. were the first to amplify Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA using specimen from Feldhofer uh, Grotto in the Neander Valley, so in Germany. In 2005, the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology and Associated Institutions launched the Neanderthal Genome Project to sequence the Neanderthal nuclear genome. <clears throat> in 2010, discovery of Neanderthal admixture in the genome uh, of modern human populations was made. In 2014, a comprehensive dating of Neanderthal bones and tools from hundreds of sites in Europe dated the disappearance of Neanderthals to between 41,000 and 39,000 years ago. And in 2018, report on the complete genomic sequence of Denisova 11, a first generation of Neanderthal-Denisovan hybrid, was published. <clears throat>